Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at your Canon camera and syncing it up with your Mac right here. So, first of all, if you guys don't have a CD or anything like that, it doesn't really matter. Even if you do have it, it's probably an old software on it. So the very first thing we have to do in order to make this work is go into this website. This is the US website. It doesn't really matter what country you guys are from. The link will be down here in the description. And then look for your camera. If you can't find your camera right here, just click on this one, for example. So we have T7i. And this software that we're going to be looking at will be compatible with the latest Mac OS. So right here, the very first thing we will see is this. So this is the latest Mac OS at the moment, and it has been detected. If it didn't detect, just go on the drop down and select this version, because that's exactly what you need, because that's the latest one right now. Most likely, if it's not working for you guys right now, such as, let me just show you. So I have my camera connected, and this is the old utility. So it's just not going to work. It's not going to detect it. Everything's going to be grayed out, as you guys can see. So everything's grayed out. My camera's on right now. It doesn't detect it at all. That's okay. This will fix that problem. And if you guys are using this for the first time, same deal. Anyways, what we have to do is scroll down until you guys see this. So what we need is this utility. Okay, 3.12.1. This will be the latest one, and you guys can see by the date right here. Okay, it's a small thing that we have to download, and from here, download anything else that you guys may need. Maybe you guys need some firmware. There's uh, under utilities, there's usually nothing, yep. And then right here, sometimes there's something there. But firmware, it's sometimes good to update it. Software, right here, is everything you guys will need. And the one that we're looking at and to get your camera actually working with your Mac will be this utility. So let's just click on select for now. So that's my third option. I can just click on select. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Okay. And I can just go ahead and download it. So I'm going to allow this for now. So this wants to yeah make sense. And then this tells me, you guys can just close that up. Up here in Safari, you guys will see the download that's happening. Okay, if you guys are in Google Chrome, then that's down here below. You will see a bar on the left hand side. Anyways, right now in Safari, we're just going to open this up. So it's a DMG file. Make sure it's a DMG file because that's exactly what we need in order to install. So we're going to double click on it. So it begins to actually install. There we go. So this is the latest version. By the way, if you guys have an older camera, don't worry about it. We're going to double click on this to install this. Like I mentioned, if you guys have an older camera and you don't have this software, you guys can just download the software for this camera, which is the same thing for almost every single camera out there, and it's going to work. So right now we're going to choose USA, Canada. You guys can choose anything else that you guys like. We're going to pick US English next. Again, you guys can choose anything you guys want. So I did have utility open, so I have to close the one that I have at the moment running. Then I'm going to hit next. And here we go. So yeah, I want everything to install so we can go ahead and install. Hit yes. Okay. If you guys have any problems installing this, it's telling you maybe that your Mac doesn't let you download this type of software because it's not licensed or whatever. Just go into your system preferences. So I'll show you that right now while that's installing. So under system preferences, go into security and privacy. From there, select general. That's this right here, the very first option. And from here, we have to change this. Before, there used to be three options. Right now, there's only two. And just have the second one right here. And uh, in order to select those, you need to unlock this. So click on the lock. Unlock this. And then just make sure you unlock it from here. Okay, even if you have the second option, sometimes it's going to give you a small message down here. And you have to click on allow. Other than that, you guys are good to go. So right now, this software has been all good. So we can go next finished and we're done so right now make sure your camera's off by the way right now if i go into the utility i can actually run this so here's my utility 2 i want to run utility 3 
So I'm just gonna go into my Finder and go into my applications to find that program. So under applications, like I just said under Finder, we will see this, and then you will see a folder called Canning Utilities. Just go right into there, you're gonna see a lot of stuff. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right now, what we have to do is just look for that Canning Utility. So right here is Utility. And from here, there's two things that you guys can try. You guys can always try the first one, see if that works for you guys, or just go straight into here. So if you're still having problems and this hasn't worked out for you guys, well, it's Canon's fault because they don't update their software. They're never up to date to be compatible with Macs. So don't worry about that. Just take out the SD card, put it in your computer, and from Finder, we can do a lot. So once you guys open up Finder, on the side, just scroll down, and you'll see locations. You might see your MacBook, and then you will see this. It could be another name for your card. It could be any name, really. And from here, we can just copy and paste these folders onto our computer or to any folder that we like. Or we can open them up right now and take a look at what's inside of each one. So pictures, usually, right in here. So we're going to go into Canon, and here are my pictures. These are the raw files. We can just take them and copy them anywhere on our computer. If you guys go in here, you will see this. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need that. The folder that really matters is this one. So if I open this one up, I can just go ahead and copy these. So what I'm gonna do right now is copy this folder over. So I'm just gonna right click on it and I can copy it that way or I can just press Command C in order to copy this folder. Then I'm just gonna go into my desktop. I already have a folder set up for that. It can be anywhere, it doesn't have to be your desktop by the way, it can be in documents, wherever you guys like. Paste that right in there, and it's gonna paste the whole thing. So after this, I can go into Photoshop, if you guys use Photoshop in order to convert these into JPEGs, if you want JPEGs, or if you want them to stay as raw files, these are the raw files. And that's pretty much the easiest way to import these. Yes, we can use the Photos app right here, but it's, it's better now. A Photos app is a lot better now, however, to keep everything simple, this is the simplest way to import any pictures. And it's actually a lot faster than using Canon Utility. As you guys can see, I already copied these over and I'm done. So again, this is in my desktop. So right here, I have my desktop file and pictures of Roxy, open this up. And here are the pictures that I took. I can preview them. Let me just zoom out a little bit. I can preview them by tapping on my space bar. And here we go. I can see the pictures that I just took of my dog. And yeah, she hasn't been groomed for a little bit, <laughs> but she's still cute. Anyways, if you guys are still having problems, questions, you guys can ask them down here below in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.